Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you this glossy text effect watermark. Uh, you could uh, use it as a watermark. Many people use text as a watermark. And this is the way to use it. Or you could just make this glossy text. Uh, I'm going to show you this whole process and how to make this whole thing in Photoshop. Now I'm just going to go to Photoshop. I'm going to X this out. When Photoshop's open, you're going to have to go to File, obviously. Then click on New. <clears throat> Alright, so the width and the height is going to be 500 by 500. The pixels going to be, uh, it's going to be by pixels, uh, resolution 72, pixels by inch, RGB color 8 bit, and the background should be white. Alright, so it's a full box. All you have to do is go to the bottom layer and make a new layer, and then on that layer, go to the text tool. And I'm going to use a font called Futura. I'm going to put that, if you want that font, and if you like that font in this video, I'm going to put that in the description below. Uh, also with the link so I'm just going to type in tech touch like before just going to center that alright so once you write that um, you're going to have to go to again over here make another layer so it's going to be called layer 1 again and then you're going to take an elliptical marking tool now this is uh, simple all you have to do is make this long ass oval just on top of the thing the semi uh, part of your uh, letter your text and you're gonna take the uh, paint bucket tool right here and then just color it in white so let me just change the color to white and I'm gonna color that in white now as you see the whole thing is white over here so you're gonna go to opacity and turn it into like 36 37 let's bring it down a little bit more alright so 36 alright so now we're done with that so now in the same layers you're gonna delete the background alright so I delete the background now you're gonna have this dancing ants, and you're gonna see that it's still in oval shape. So you, it, if you put this as a watermark, it still wouldn't look good. And also, if you put this as a logo, it still wouldn't look good. Uh, so to remove that and to keep this glossy effect only on the text, you're gonna click on the layer one again. You're gonna hold, hold up. You're gonna hold CTRL on the computer, on the Windows, and click the picture. Or in Mac, you can hold the uh, command and click on it. Now you're gonna see this glossy effect, but you're gonna see dancing ants now on the text. So now uh, your layer is selected still, and you go to select and click inverse, and then just click backspace. Your top part will be deleted, and if you want to see, I'm going to go on this uh, moving tool, and I'm going to move up and down the uh, the uh, uh, the glossy effect. Like, I'm going to go back to this thing again for a second. Alright, so as you can see, I can move this, and it's now like a whole oval shape, and you'll, get, you'll understand what I'm talking about while doing this, and you have this kind of grayish look, this glossy effect look. That's basically it. Um, now, what I will do is make that shelf. So all I have to do is create another layer and take this line tool. Make sure it's black, obviously, or whatever color you want, and make the weight three pixels right up here. And then I am just going to make a straight line. All right, so I made a straight line. Now the effects that you have to put in this, just uh, put that on the text. The effects that you have to put in this is uh, right click and go to blending options. And you're going to need drop shadow. That's something main. That's like mo everything. And you're going to make the distance to around 13. Uh, make the spread to like 17. And make the size to like 9. And then put some noise effect too to make this kind of crumply, crump crumply look to it. And then right after that, you're going to go to bevel and emboss. Now you can just, it's just, I think it's the natural one, or you can just copy down this by pausing the video. And you really don't need gradient overlay, because I have a different gradient, and you don't really need this. And my gradient looks like this, and you don't really need that. But anyways, that's basically it about the whole video. So you have this glossy effect text, and you have also the shelf type looking. Now I'm going to delete the Photoshop thing, the thing that I just made. I'm going to open up, I'm going to open my pictures back up. And I'm just going to show it to you a preview of it again a little bit more. And for beginners who doesn't know how to save it, make sure you save it as PNG. Because JPEG is not good for saving at a, as a transparent background, which means no background. And that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If this helped you, please give me credits. And all I need is for you to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.